Web Desk Help Tutorial Part 2. You have already learned how to log into Web Help Desk and how to enter a ticket. Now you need to be able to look at the tickets, read them, handle them, and hopefully close them or maybe even reassign them. So we're going to be looking at my Web Help Desk uh, tickets. So I'm just going to log in and hopefully it'll work. There it goes. And here is my desk. I'm going to expand it just a little bit, bit more. And so far, you can see I've got three tickets, 19, 1305, and 1741. Um, if you're looking around at these little tickets, little blue blob here, if you point at it, it tells you this is a new ticket, it needs a response. Um, interestingly enough, actually, I have responded to that, so I don't know why that is showing no response. And here is one that has been a reassigned ticket. So. I'm going to have a look at my very first ticket, which is ticket 19. And as soon as I open it up, I can now see what the ticket is about. A lot of information. The client originally who put this in was Tina Jarvis. And it's at Menden High, and the counselling. It's been assigned to me. And here in the yellow is the actual problem. And this person wants to be printing some labels, I believe, at Menden High. Now, uh, this may already been, have been dealt with, but I haven't dealt with it. So, I did respond at one point, and Eric did say to me here, under the note, that I should check with him, or at least someone told me I should check with him, because, um, or at least Eric told me I should check with Jeff Settle, because already this has been a problem at Park Road. So, I'm going to do that. So, I put a note in saying here that I'm going to put this ticket on hold while I do my exploration. So I've added that note, so I'm now going to go down a bit further to where the status and schedule is, and as you can see, this is where I can change my status. So I had already changed it to hold. Um, I want to just go back up one more step, up to here, because I've opened up this ticket, and in your position and even in mine, you might just say, hang on a second, this ticket it shouldn't be coming to me. So you're now going to reassign this ticket to somebody else. So over here, under details, assign tech. I can hit on the down arrow and I can actually go and reassign this ticket. And I'm just wondering, actually, I'm going to reassign this ticket to Meg McClintock because she may well be checking on this tutorial and then I will take it out from her and reassign it back to me. So I'm going to check it in for Meg McClintock and I'm going to say it is audio visual because that's obviously much more library related. And this drop down window has changed. So let's see, it's a light speed system problem, which is actually not accurate, but you see what I'm trying to do for batteries. So there's no nothing else that needs to be changed and I have made a note already that I have put this on hold. Actually, no, I'm just going to change my mind now. I have just reassigned it. So I really should put a note there as to why I have reassigned it. So I would click on new and then I would type. This is being reassigned to Meg, but it is really a test and having done that I now need to make sure that I'm going to be saving an emailing I could save an email right here but I need to make sure that Meg gets this or whoever I've reassigned it to so I am going to copy this because it's now going to Meg and I'm going to start typing in her a name in Meg Gunn McClintock and magically this comes up so I can highlight her email and I can now click on save and email. This is where having completed that ticket I'm scrolling back up to the top. This is where I have to remind you and I have to remind myself as well. It's very tempting because I want to go back to the rest of my tickets very tempting to go up to the IE window and click on the back arrow. Don't do that. Big warning, don't do that. Come down here into your ticket 
layout where there's this little curly Q arrow. Click on that and it takes you back to your tickets. Now, I'm hoping that maybe Meg will reassign that back to me. All right. So with that, you can now go on and open up your next ticket and either deal with it yourself, reassign it or put it on hold or do whatever you have to do with it. I have found too that for my purposes, depending on my frame of mind, I like to print out my tickets. I know it is using paper, but sometimes I need a record of what I'm going to do and when. So I do print them out and I have my sheets and then I can handle them. I hope this has helped you and I hope you're going to be able to handle your tickets.